All right, here we are at, uh, what is this called again? Jacksonville Municipal Stadium. Uh, you say that three times real fast. Can. Where Florida and uh, looked a lot like the team they was last year that played so well, destroying Georgia. I don't know if destroying is the right yeah. word, but certainly Gator fans went home very happy for the first time. Whoa! You're all happy. I can't believe it. Yeah, and Urban Meyer said it was one of the great team wins they've had at Florida because it, everybody was involved, special teams, defense with four turnovers. Tebow got back to being Tebow with yep. four touchdowns, two rushing, two passing. So it was kind of a feel-good game for a team that hadn't much, had much to feel good about lately, even though it's undefeated. I know, yeah, these terrible wins that they've been yeah. having, yes. Uh, 8-0 now, of course, 18 in a row. Uh, and the main thing, uh, uh, I've never seen a guy, I don't know, I'd have to look it up. The last time, four line, four interceptions by linebackers. Oh, right? I know. And, and A.J. Jones, Pat, is he yeah. playing lights out or what right now? It's it, Tonight, really his performance tonight was one of the great linebacker performances I've ever seen from a Florida player. He was all over the field, of course, had the two picks. And I think that first pick really, that was when Georgia went, uh-oh. We, here we go. Here yeah. it goes again, yeah. even though they did come back and score later and answered Florida's touchdown. And Florida did find a way to solve their red zone problem. They did. Stay out of the red zone. Yeah, th go, go beyond the red yeah. zone and score that way. Score touchdowns that way. And uh, they did get the one in, in there the only time they were in the red zone. And lined up under center, and I liked that look. That yeah. was a good look. And, and this is a lot about what we've been talking about. That these coaches, they're, they're not dummies, you know. They know what they're doing, and they'll figure it out. And they, I think they did figure a lot of it out. And I know there's some of you there saying, we told you to do this yeah. all along. But, uh, you know, they, they figured it out, and they uh, they won again. You know? Yeah. And Shocking. like you said, this is a great coaching staff, Pat. And earlier in the week when they said they were breaking it all down, evaluating, I knew they were going to come up with a plan that was going to work in this game. And they sure enough, they did, and the players bought in. And, you know, just a great team win for Florida. And I think, Robbie, that's the one thing we have to think about with these last three games is uh, more so the Mississippi State game and the uh, and the LSU game. They knew they didn't have to score a lot of points to win those games. Arkansas, they did. They just had turnovers. That's yeah. all that happened there. This game, they said, hey, look, this is a pretty good offense we're facing. Let's go out and, and, and come up with a little bit better game plan to score some points. Yeah, and the, that first drive set the tone yeah. for the game. Yeah. They came out, they threw the ball, they mixed it up, went right down the field, scored a touchdown. It was a, kind of a statement drive that got – everything headed in Florida's direction early. Well, for all of you that covered, uh, or what, not covered, but went to Gator, Florida, Georgia games, spit it out. Georgia, Florida. Went to Florida, Georgia games in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Uh, the thought of being 17 and three in the last 20, year, 20 games, 20 years, it, it's gotta be unbelievable to you. Oh yeah, it's an amazing thing. You know, People that are young Florida fans don't appreciate it probably the way the older people do, but. Old folks like us realize how important it is. Yeah, I was in there talking to Tebow, and he was saying, "Look, I, I did take it personally. You know, I was. Uh, it wasn't the criticism that bothered him. It, it was that there was criticism that yeah. he wasn't playing up to his level. And you saw him come out and right smack dab in the middle of the Heisman race. Yeah, and I like the the fact that Billy Donovan talked to this team yeah. about sticking yeah, together thanks. like that. Thanks a yeah. lot, Billy. After I read a column saying you haven't talked to him, well, he turn, had when turns, you talked to him. I, so. Well, I talked to him. He hadn't." I know, I, that's not a typo. That's not a mistake. I'm not taking blame for that one. But like Meyer even said, I want to publicly thank him for right. what he did. You know, I've got a great source living right next to me. And, you know, Billy knows what it takes to defend a national title. And you got to stick together. And that's what this team did this week. My theory is going to be that when I talked to Billy Tuesday, that inspired him to go talk to Urban. It was your idea. Yeah, you give so me it's my idea, idea. And I want to publicly thank me for coming up with that idea. Okay. <laughs> You're not buying it? No. All right. Uh, that's going to do it for our latest Swampcast. I'm here next time we talk to you, of course. We'll be breaking down the Vandy game, which shouldn't take too long. Uh, Vanderbilt's not very good on offense. Uh, but pretty good, pretty on, good defense. on defense. Pretty good yeah. on defense. So it could be an ugly game. But I, I think right now, for especially for Gator fans, any win over Georgia is great to have yeah. hammered them two years in a row. Yeah, and I think this game, this is like a new start for Florida in a way. I think you're going to see this team really start to play well down the stretch, and timing's perfect for that. Absolutely. Until we see you back in the studios or back in our palatial offices to break down the Vandy game. Robbie Andrew, Pat Dooley, Gainesville Sun saying so long from Jacksonville Municipal Stadium. You got it. You did it.